Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer with another video for Angular Material series. In this video I will present to you select component, which is just another component that can be used uh, well for forms in Angular Material. You should know that this video belongs to Angular Material series, which is a series which will at the end hold all of the components and CDK elements that Angular Material has to offer to us. So if you wish to check the whole playlist, well the whole series, you will have a link down in the description of this video. Now let's start with this one. First of all, as usual for all material components that we use, we generate a specific component for that. So here I will generate component with command of ng g for generate, c for component, and I will generate my component in components, slash select, and once the component is generated, I can open up my app.component.html file, here I will hide this uh, ripple component from the last video, if you wish to check that video, you will have a link down in the description of this one, and after it, I will use my select component that we just generated, which is app select here, I will also add here an ending comment which is end of select. And that's it. As we wish to use select component from Angular Material, we will need to import a proper module. First of all, in my imports here, I will move this component that I just generated to a top. So right here, that's good. And I will now import here my mat select module and I will import that from at angular slash material slash select. Be sure to pass this mat select module down in this imports array so you could use this select component. Now to create a dummy select component I will open up my select.component.html file and here I will create a div. This div will hold the style attribute which will be uh, which will hold the text align to center and also margin on a top side to be 50 pixel. Now, as I wish to create the select component here, I will put some kind of a title here, which can be H4 element, and the title will say, please select a car. And after this title, I can use my select component. As select component belongs to, well, usually belongs to some forms, there is mat form field component which we can use to wrap our select component and that way create one control, one field for our form. Usually we pass also appearance to our uh, form field. I will use fill as an appearance here and inside I can create my select. Next to our select, we can use for example a label which will for example say select a car because usually uh, form fields and form controls uh, have some kind of labels or placeholders. So now finally to use mat select component, this is just the normal select menu that we can use in HTML. So here we could specify options, but as we are using material, we need to use mat option here, not just the option. And as we are selecting a car, my first car could be Mercedes. And uh, let's specify the value here as well, as that is the usual thing to do with select uh, menus. Here the value will be Mercedes as well. Let me copy this two more times so we could have multiple options here. For example, for Audi and BMW. BMW. Let's change the values to Audi as well and BMW as well. Now we do have this please select a car title and we have our select menu here. Obviously, it is not just the select menu from HTML, but it will hold a specific material styling and animations as well, but at the end it is a select menu that we can use. So now here I could select Audi for example, and that value will be presented here, well uh, that option is selected one. But this will be it for this video guys, if you have any questions be sure to ask those down below as I will surely answer you. Thank you all for watching and if you liked what you saw, please click like and subscribe as I am posting a new content weekly. Thank you once again and I will see you in my next video, bye bye.